What is up YouTube, Johnny B here again today and we're going to be bringing you a new video on our driving setup, our steering wheel setup, our driving simulator, whichever way you want to call it. This is what we have so far now after you know a couple years of having uh, a Logitech setup with the steering wheel, pedals, the shifter. If you guys look back to our previous videos, that's what I was using, but we went ahead and upgraded. But in this video, we're going to go ahead and show you the top five games to play when you have a steering wheel setup. So these games are all fun to play even on just the PC normally, but they're even more fun to play with the driving setup, which just makes it a little bit more immersive and a lot more fun. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. But first, let me show you guys the setup that we have. So first we have this Fnatic wheel setup. It's actually detachable, so you can go ahead and remove it kind of like you do in a regular car. And then we have also the, the shifter, the e-brake e and the pedals to go all along with it. Obviously you need a PC, but if you have one already, you know, it makes it that much better. Um, the thing that we did add first was this right here, the handbrake, definitely necessary when you want to do some drifting or you want to do some rally racing, you really need the handbrake. So it was cool to have, you know, a separate functioning handbrake. Uh, to be able to, you know, to rip that e-brake, do some drifts, all that fun stuff. For the PC, you're going to need somewhat fairly powerful PC if you want to be running the, the games at a high uh, FPS, if you want to be running 1080p, or, you know, 2K, 4K, depending on what your need is, you know, your PC is going to be pretty strong. Uh, we've done it a lot over the years to the PC because this is our gaming and editing PC, if you know, for the YouTube channel. So I'm going to put some links down below, you know, of all the pieces and parts that we have. Um, bought over the years that way you guys know what our pc build setup is and if you guys are interested in building one similar you know it'll all be down below in the description do you guys notice this behind me if you guys looked in our previous videos this used to be red so we got rid of that seat and i went ahead and custom made a bracket for the seat to mount to our base and if you guys look you guys will probably recognize this seat this is actually out of a Nissan Skyline GTR R32. This is an authentic seat uh, that we got for the setup. It's actually really comfortable. It hugs you and it's like a racing seat, but it's it's an original seat. So I just wanted to have you know some JDM feel um, with our setup. This literally came from overseas, like I wanna say like five, six months ago. Um, so we got it from, from a good friend of ours that's building a GTR right now. He put in some aftermarket seats and he let us, he hooked us up with this. So it's amazing. It just adds much more realism to the setup, you know, having an actual real car seat. Okay, so as a disclaimer, these, these uh, top five, they're not in order, you know, I love them all. So I'm just gonna start off with the number five, which is gonna be a set of Corsa. So of Corsa is a game that I love to use for drifting. It's just because it's so good at that. All right, guys. So this is a set of Corsa. This is the game that we like to drift on a lot. It's really good for that. And this is the BMW E30 that we're going to be driving right now. This is the drift spec. So this car is really good for beginners when you're trying to learn how to drift. And then the track that I'm going to be driving on is called Drift Playground in case you guys are you know, looking to try to practice on the same track. It's a really nice track. So let's go ahead and get started. Woo, that was nice. You guys can see I do use the e-brake quite a bit, but you don't really have to. So if you just do like the Scandinavian flick, you should be able to get all these drifts initiated, but the e-brake does help me quite a bit, so, so it is a good addition to have. And 
that's the end of the course right here. So this is the, the beginning already. So this game is amazing if you want to practice drifting because it's so realistic. So this is why it's one of the top five games that you want to be playing when you have the steering wheel set up. Number four, another game that I like playing a lot is Beam MG. This is an actual crash simulator, so it's really fun to drive. But the realism with the, you know, the crashing, the way the cars crumble, the way they flip, the way, you know, every accident little thing happens. You know, your wheels fall off, you, you flip, you know, your front bumper falls off. This game actually simulates what your car would end up after that crash. So it's lots of fun. So the cool thing about the game is you can crash into everything, see everything just get destroyed. Look at that. Just smash the whole front end right there. So this game is a crash simulator. So all it does is that you can reenact, you know, what would happen if your car got hit, you know, in a certain situation. Boom, look at that. This is why you want to play this game with a steering wheel setup is because you can actually go ahead and do first person view. Let's go ahead and drive it. This car is actually really fast. You can see that this thing is boosted, all wheel drive. And it just makes it very, very fun to just drive around and spoon around in this game. And it's a crash simulator, so you can go ahead and just, you know, if you have fun crashing cars, why, why not just play it on game when you're not going to be doing it to real cars? Now let's go ahead and try to ramp this thing. And it's just full throttle. Ramp. Let's change cameras to see where we're at. Dang, we got some massive air. Look at this. This is the main appeal of this game, the crash simulator, so you get to see how the cars get destroyed. But they also have some pretty cool physics where the cars handle and look at that the Subaru got completely destroyed looks like it has an Evo engine too it's kind of funny it's like a mixture of the Subaru and Evo oh there you guys have it this is another game that is a must you know if you're gonna be having a driving simulator with, with your PC this is another game that's really fun to be testing out the simulator with number three Project Cars 2. This game just recently came out and it's a little bit different to what I'm used to, but I've been doing some track racing on the Nürburgring and it is amazing. The way you feel the immersion into the game, it's it's amazing. The way the cars feel, the cars, you know, they you can feel the power difference when you're switching between cars. Obviously you can do that on other games, but in this game, when I'm driving through the Nürburgring in a GTR with 600 horses, like this game just has you hooked, you're, like, you're just like in the moment and it's pretty amazing. So let me go ahead and show you that. Look at this GTR, it's so gorgeous. This is Project Cars 2 and let's go ahead and get started. Let's go! I really love this game for track racing. This thing's fast. This is a 600 horsepower GTR and it feels so good. We are on the Nürburgring right now. This is probably my favorite map in this game. Woo! I have to track a little bit. Nope, we went too fast. But this game just barely came out not too long ago and the track driving is amazing like I picked this car on the Nürburgring so much fun look at this it's kind of impressive how, how they made this game so gorgeous look at the surroundings the trees the grass even the road looks good. I just love how it feels like my FRS. It's, you're just like cruising, and then boom, boost kicks in. 
it's like a such a crazy feeling. It just kind of gets your heart rate pumping a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We got it. So definitely one of the games you want to get if you have a steering wheel setup like this. It's so much fun. So number two, another game that we really like to play a lot is Dirt Rally. As you guys know from our previous video, we like rally cars, we like rally racing. And this game is probably one of the reasons why we're most in it, you know, apart from seeing um, a lot of famous people that do rally. It's just a really crazy sport where you're sprint racing, going full speed through the dirt. You're also, you know, including drifting and all kinds of other uh, techniques or driving skills in this, you know, in this type of motorsport. And it's just really crazy adrenaline rush when you're just like flying through the dirt taking jumps, you know, seeing all the forest pass by you. So let me go ahead and show you guys what Dirt Rally looks like on the simulator. This is Dirt Rally. As you can tell, we're going to be driving a Fiesta. Five, four, this three, is two, where we go ahead and just one, do a bunch of off-road racing where we're drifting, basically going through the mountains, going through forests, going through deserts, all kinds of game modes in here. You can see the e-brake is something that's it's really necessary in this game so it's always a really good addition to have this game it's is definitely right one of the main games that you want to focus on left. when you have a driving simulator right or you know wheel press. setup on your pc it's, it's so four, immersive when you're driving through this it, left, it gets three, really left, intense and then on top of it you have your co-driver which is basically telling you you have to turn you know this this hard at this distance and it, it gets pretty crazy and then as you can see there, you know, you can see the split time with, you know, with the times that are that are already in the game. So once you can get that into the greens where you're positive, you know you're doing really good at the game. I'll let you guys just enjoy the scenery. Also, this, this game is pretty, pretty nice looking. As you can see, the steering wheel movements are all over the place. You turn left, and then a second later, the car decides to turn left just because of the traction loss, you know. The way that you have to whip the car, you have to move all the weight to transfer from one side to the other just to be able to turn. Because if you try to turn or press the brakes like in a normal car, you're going to go straight. You're just going to go straight off, for example, this cliff and just land in between all those trees. This is Dirt Rally for you guys, so definitely you know, one of the top five games that you want to get when you have a steering wheel set up on your PC. So, Sweet Lamb, this is my favorite map of the game. Um, it's in Wales. And then obviously, favorite car driving rally is this Ford Fiesta RS. Uh, fully built, 300 horses. Got a white body kit on it. Pretty amazing car. This is the main reason, you know, this and Ken Block. The main reason why my brother has the Ford Fiesta car and why we want to build it into a rally car. You know, that's why right now it looks, we're trying to give it, you know, the rally armor, light bar, 1552 wheels. Obviously, we already have some um, fancy rally racing tires on his stock wheels. This is the whole reason we went to that rally event last weekend. So pretty amazing you know to see it in person it would have been even cooler if we could have seen it you know seen the areas where they're jumping you know where the cars are crashing so obviously the the rally racing in Prescott isn't as crazy as the ones that are in Europe because that's like all they do over there in Europe just straight rally racing so definitely a fun game make sure you get this one when you have your driving simulator or your steering wheel set up number one the last game that we really like playing on the simulator that's probably going to be, you know, something that's going to get you hooked, it's going to be really fun for you, is called Wreckfest. Uh, another name for it is also the next card game. And what you do in this one is that, you know, you're racing and you're racing with other cars. And literally as the game, as the name says, Wreckfest, like you guys have to crash each other to get each other off the way to get to races. And then the crazy part is there's some tracks where the track intertwines. So you're literally flying by other cars. You know, you guys can literally T-bone each other as you guys are crossing through. And you know, the, the goal of the game is you can even, to win, you can take out other cars and just completely mobilize them and they're just out of the race. So 
that's another cool thing there's also a figure eight that you can raise where you're just literally going in the eight it crosses directly in the center and there's a jump and you guys literally just fly and just boom take out other people's <laughs> So it seems like a normal game at first, you know, you're just like, oh, they're just racing, doing some off-roading stuff. But once you see cars start touching, look at that, just T-bone this guy, move him out of the way. This game is really fun. Once you do get the game to work properly, it is very fun. So the reason it's called Wreckfest is, you know, obviously look at this Firebird right here. I think it's completely trashed. And this is what you know the whole lore of this game is it's, it's racing but it's like aggressive racing with you know accidents cars flipping um, sometimes you'll just have a car fly over you or sometimes you'll ram them in the back and flip them it's it's a really fun game just because of that aspect they're a little crazy so then they you see like some stuff that just like completely trips you out but of course it's you know all involved with crashing, you know, you can actually win the race by disabling people's cars, which is like hilarious. You can like just ram them or you can do, you know, the, the, the turn where you kind of smack them in the rear of the car and just like rotate them, get them out of the way, out of the track. It's really awesome. It's just this, look at that car just went off the road and then you can ram people off. You kind of go off the track too, but you can get back in it, no problem. There's not really any penalties and stuff for that. So, let's try to catch up to these guys here. So the funny part is that, you know, when you spin out, you gotta make sure you get out of the track or else you're gonna get rammed into on purpose. You know, they don't even they don't even do it on accident. They fully ram on ram into you on purpose. Uh oh. This will happen to you also and you can also do it to other people. So definitely a fun game. So make sure you check it out if you do have, you know, your actual thing will set up. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all these different types of games that are basically like different game modes. You know, you can do drifting, you can do track racing, you can do rally racing, you can do, you know, simulation crashing where you can fly off mountains, crash into other cars, like, and then that's just a whole different type of you know, racing that you can do. So if you get bored of drifting, you can go ahead and hop into a rally car. If you get bored of that, you can go ahead and have, hop into some off-road vehicles. There's like so many games out there that are that actually work with the steering wheel setup and they immerse you in it because it feels like you're there in it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna put all of the games down in the description below. Also that way you guys, you know, if you guys missed them, they're gonna be down in the description. Uh, so you guys get them, you know? As always, I hope you guys have a great day.